So uh, the next uh, thing we have to know is the inverse stretch reflex. So So the name is actually very self-explanatory. So earlier we learned the stretch reflex and and so inverse stretch reflex is the opposite of that. So stretch reflex what it does is uh, when you pull a muscle it will cause the um, muscle to contract. So inverse stretch reflex is the opposite. When you pull a muscle, it will cause the uh, muscle to relax. Uh, so let's see what happens. So, so if you take a muscle, um, if you take a muscle, uh, I'll just draw a spinal cord also. Yeah. So the thing is that uh, if you take a muscle uh, in the tendons, there is a there is a receptor which is uh, called a Golgi tendon organ. So that's the Golgi tendon organ. And so this is another proprioceptor, and this Golgi tendon organ will send impulses via the 1B fiber. So you can see, so this is the 1B fiber. So in stretch reflex, we uh, discuss the 1A fiber based on the Lloyd Hunt classification. If you don't remember the Lloyd Hunt classification, please look it up. Anyway, it's a classification of sensory fibers. And uh, so 1B fibers, again, it's going through the dorsal column upwards to the brain to give uh, again, this is uh, sensing the muscle length. So, anyway, this 1B fiber is going in. So, you have the dorsal root ganglion. Anyway, it's going in, and what happens is that it supplies, it supplies a, an inhibitory interneuron. So, here is an inhibitory interneuron. And that inhibitory interneuron is going to supply the actual muscle. So this so this is the lower motor neuron that supplies this muscle. So this is the lower motor neuron. And you can see what happens is that when the muscle is stressed excessively, the Golgi tendon organ is stimulated and that will send impulses through the 1B fibers and the one it will go and act on an inhibitory interneuron and that inhibitory interneuron will inhibit the lower motor neuron and the muscle will relax. So there are different names for this like disynaptic reflex. So there are many names for this particular reflex. It has been asked multiple times for draw and label. And it's better that you learn all the names uh, so that uh, you can identify the question. Uh, and so basically that's inverse stretch reflex. So the use of this reflex is that one thing is that it senses the length of the muscle. Another thing it senses is force. So if a muscle is stretched greatly and it there's a chance of it getting damaged. For example, if you are lifting it very heavy weight and extremely heavy weight and then you lift it and there's a chance of the mus the tendon being pulled out of the bone then the muscle has to relax and that is done by the inverse stretch reflex so excessive stretch is identified by the inverse stretch reflex and it will cause the muscle to relax so the function of the uh, inverse stretch reflex or the Golgi tendon organ is this Golgi tendon organ senses the length of the muscle and also the force exerted on the muscle. Uh, so, 
again uh, we will dis discuss inverse stress flux in discussing the basis of something known as the class kunai phenomenon that is also something seen in um annihilation so that is a, a separate question that asked a lot that is asked a lot so this by drawing label of the inverse stress flux is itself uh, an important question that you have to know